All right, so let's take a shot, okay? This is good for the worms, really good for the worms. Welcome back everybody. So, it's one month later, I made that extract that you just saw on the 6th of January 2021 and it is february 6th saturday february 6th so it's one month later so we're going to go now and see what it looks like see how much or how infused the alcohol or the spirit has become with the mint that we have and also the next clip after showing you what it looks like one month later i will just inform you a little bit of the mint that I used. All right, so let's get cracking. Let's go get the mint and continue with this recipe. Let's go. So, so this is the plan before, after everything was done. This is what the plan when I got it from a friend. I got some sticks. I placed it in some water, and then I got some roots. I placed it in some dirt, and this is what I got. But before I got to this point, this is how it started in the dirt there. And this is what I got. Good morning. I have some mint, the mint that you just saw me go outside in the yard and show you all. So I'm just gonna I put it in some water so that some of the sand could come to the bottom because you know it's outside there in the elements, so much sand and stuff. So it has all the sand has come to the bottom there. So now I am going to dry this. that tea towel I washed it though before I placed it in here all right I give it a nice washing all right. and I want to dry it I want to make this video as quick as possible because I just wanted it this is a mint by the way as we go along I will explain the mint to you really smell really really smells lovely let me show you a leaf this is what the mint leaf looks like oops sorry <laughs> see it really lovely smell really all right so they are really nice and dry i'm actually surprised how dry it is so quickly so now i'm going to take the mint and place it into my jar This thing extracts really lovely, beautiful green color. Love it, just love it. <laughs> All right. Now I have used um, um, vodka for 90% of my extracts, but what I have realized, this particular extract, um, I try using white oak and I find it does a really, really better job. I really like the flavor and I like how intense the color is also All right so I'm just place that in there and just make sure all of it is covered in the spirits put on my lid make sure that your jar is really clean and I'm going to cover this down and let that sit. I'm going to let it sit for a month before I start using. So as we go along, I will show you the color and how it's changing and all of that. All right. So look out for the ending of this extract, this mint extract. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful mint, by the way. You know, a really beautiful mint. Yes, it is. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, look out for the ending. It's coming soon. And I hope you enjoyed watching my extracts, the banana skin that we use first to make that extract. And then I use the banana itself and I made that extract. I hope you enjoy watching those two extract videos.
and now we have this mint this is a recent plan that i got so um i wanted to share this mint with you all previously i have gotten the the mint itself and just made the extract but seeing that i got a plant and it is doing so well i decided to try making my own with my own mint i mean i'm, I'm expecting a different flavor in some way because it's my plant <laughs> there is nothing to no gluten powder nothing to enhance the plant or anything in any way shape or form it's just all natural the, the beautiful earth that the god gave me the plant and produce food is what i use and we have this mint and the mint tree that i showed you outside all right guys so now in the next clip you would see what it looks like after one month of being soaked in the spirits all right let's go all right ladies and gentlemen here we go this is what it looks like a few days later you see how dark it has become you see how much it has totally extracted as much as it could from those mint so you're sure this alcohol is totally infused with this mint plant let me get a spoon and show you how awesome now the alcohol that i use as i said is not vodka you will typically use vodka when making extracts but i didn't use vodka i use white oak why did i use white oak white oak is a sort of a sweet spirit i and, and i like to use that that type of spirits to do is because on top of the flavor from the mint you're getting that sweetness from the white oak and i just find it pairs well with certain mints especially so that's why i use um white oak but again if you're not looking for that and you just want to keep it simple and traditional you stick with your um vodka all right but also you know there are flavored vodkas that you can use also for making extracts i also use at one point a coconut infused extract to make um a coconut infused vodka to make extract and that worked too well but uh i didn't too enjoy that because i had coconut taste so it was kind of taken away from the mint flavor itself but with the white oak it's more sweetish and it don't really have too much of a flavor but just that swipe slightly undertone sweetness to that spirit so it works really well with this with with, with um mints all right so i'll be back to show you to give you a spoonful all right my lovely people i have this in a dark in a cupboard way back in the cupboard just chilling out for four weeks make sure and sterilize your containers i just want to give you a little i just want to show you all how nice the color is and the aroma oh it's heavenly it is heavenly look at that I can't even express the awesome aroma that I am getting from this. Whenever um, I have the coal, and I would normally take like a tablespoon of this and just have it just like that. It really helps, you know, it really helps. But not too regular because at the end of the day, this is what? Exactly. So you don't want too much alcohol in your system. And for those of you who are not into alcohol, you know, I respect that. But I'm just speaking to those who wouldn't mind taking a shot of this just to help with the cold, you know. So let's take um let's take some of this. Alright, so let's take a shot, okay? This is good for the worms, really good for the worms. You know? say alcohol good to kill corona outside who knows if we work on the inside too give it a try <laughs> anyway ladies and gentlemen all jokes aside this extract was another success and 
you know, there's other things we could do for ourselves and save ourselves so much money because extracts on our whole is expensive in the supermarkets. So you have your liqueurs home, you have herbs home, put them in there together and let them chillax for a little while and here you have your own little extracts that you could put in your baking and, and your cooking and whatever in your smoothies in your cocktails you know so much things we could do at home for ourselves and not run into the supermarket and spend out money that we don't necessarily need to be spending so ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you all so very much for your constant love and support always do have a blessed one stay safe God bless. Bye.